How is it going everybody, Noble Warrior 99 here, and today I'm back with another Destiny video for you guys, and today I'm going to be talking about the Crotus and Raid weapons that you can earn from completing the raid, or just doing the different p sections or parts of the raid. So first off, I'm going to start with the Sword Breaker. Now this is a Hive Shotgun, and it looks sick, guys. It has like a green outline, it has some spikes on it, it looks pretty cool. I'm really, really pumped for this new DLC, um, and I hope you guys are too. So yeah, that that's kind of sums up the sword breaker. I'm not sure what type of damage this weapon causes, but I will assume that it causes either arc or fire damage um, based on like the other damages that the weapons cause. Next up, we're gonna move on to the Eidolon Alley. Now I did have a um, I did have a tutorial on how to get the Necrochasm, and as you can see in this picture right here, um, it is the legendary version of the gun, which can later then be upgraded to the Necrochasm. Next up, we are going to move on to the Light of the Abyss. This fusion rifle's description reads, In the dark beyond the Hellmouth, there is a terrible need for light. Now this weapon um, is a special weapon because it, it is a fusion rifle, and it looks very cool. I believe that it only causes arc damage, although there may, they, although there may be variations of this this weapon that you can get in the raid. Next up we're going to move on to the Song of Uryut. This legendary machine gun says that it, it is the Song of Endings. Now this weapon also causes arc damage and at the very beginning it causes 272 attack damage. Now one thing that is kind of interesting is that it only has 35 bullets per clip which does not seem very much to me um, as some of the other machine guns that I own have 50 bullets in their magazine, um, while some even have like 70 or so. But I, I assume that you can upgrade this magazine um, because that's just kind of what happens with the legendary weapons. And it does look like there is a decent amount of upgrades that you can do to this weapon. Next up we have the Hunger of Crota. Now this is a legendary rocket launcher, and as you can see from the picture, it looks pretty cool. Um, it says, th the description reads, Would you defy me? I am the eater of hope. Now, this weapon uh, kind of goes along with the saying, as it is a rocket launcher, and it kind of goes along with the high feel. It looks very cool with the green aspect of it, and as you can see, it does have fire damage. Now, I'm not sure if this weapon is going to be like able to have a different type of damage, but um, like as it's interchangeable, but it does look pretty cool, and I'm very excited for this weapon. Next up, we are going to move on to Murmur. Now, I will have a full-length tutorial on how to get this weapon um, coming in the next couple days, but this weapon is a legendary fusion rifle and, and is upgraded from the rare version of the fusion rifle. Now, this actually may be um, how you upgrade all of the other weapons, but as you can see here, it can be a legendary fusion rifle, and it does have a lot of upgrades that you can do to it. Next up, we have the Ab Abyss Defiant. Now, this looks like it is going to be very similar to the Athian's Epilogue, although it only has 31 bullets to start out. Now, this weapon looks very awesome. It has the very cool hive aspect to it, and it's kind of bright green, which is pretty neat to me. Um, I, I'm kind of confused why the rate of fire is so high if it only has 31 bullets, but I guess we're just going to have to see when the game or the DLC pack actually comes out, so I'm also very excited for this weapon. Next up, we have the Oversoul Edict. Now this weapon is a pulse rifle, so it has a 3 round burst, and it looks very cool. It does only have 30 bullets. All of these uh, weapons seem to have a low amount of ammunition in their clips, but I do hope that you can upgrade them to have it like over 50 or 70. Um, bullets in the clip. Also, this one causes arc damage or lightning damage or whatever you want to call it, um, which is also pretty cool. Next up, we have the Word of Crota. Now, this is a legendary hand cannon, and it says, There was life, and he spoke unto it, and it was silent, and lived no more. Now, that's pretty deep. Um, it looks very cool. I actually like the, like the look and the feeling of it more than Thorn. So that's pretty neat as well. And here is a picture of the weapon in action. It is in a PvP mission or PvP game, and it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited for this. It does look like this is in a new PvP map, so that's pretty cool as well. And here's just an overview of all the weapons, as you can see right here. So next up, we have our new upgrade perks. Now these include Dark Breaker, Target Mark, Hive Disruptor, Life Stealer, White Nail, Crotus Pet, 
and Leech Bane. So first up, I'm going to start with Dark Breaker. Now this one says, projectiles will over penetrate through Hive Knight Wall of Darkness. So that's pretty cool. I believe you can shoot directly through the, the Knight Shield as he has that black annoying shield that you can't shoot through, but this will be able to go through the shield and kill the Knight. Next up, we have Target Mark. Now this says, Enemies hit by this weapon are briefly highlighted, so that's pretty cool. Maybe if they go behind a wall, you still know where they are. So that's pretty awesome as well. Hopefully, it will help your allies as well, like your other guardian friends um, in your fire team. So that'd be pretty awesome if it does. Next up, we have the Hive Disruptor. This weapon, it says that this weapon deals bonus damage to stronger hive enemies. So I guess with like the wizards or the knights, it will cause a higher amount of damage to these enemies. Next up, we have Life Stealer. Now this one says that three rapid kills in succession will heal a small amount and start a shield regeneration. That is pretty awesome, and I'm really excited for this perk as it will help your guardian um, in the raid definitely as you can have more health and just you get your shield back as well. Next up, we have White Nail. Now this looks like it's going to be similar to Crota's Pet and Life Stealer, but the three consecutive precision hits in rapid succession will refill the mag. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I'm really excited for that. And Crota's pet says that three rapid precision hits will return one round to the mag. So that is pretty awesome as well. Although the white nail I think will be better except that you have to get the consecutive hits. But that's still not too hard um, and you refill the entire magazine. So last up we have Leech Bane, and this one says that projectiles will have a chance to disorient high wizards. Now I believe that this perk will be very important in the raid, um, as there is probably going to be a large amount of high, high wizards. That's probably going to be one of the main uh, stronger enemies, kind of like the oracles or the like the harpies that came along in the in the vault of glass. So that'd be pretty neat to see how that works or it comes out to in the new raid. So hopefully you guys. Uh, did enjoy this video if you did then make sure to share with your friends and smash that like button um, I know it only takes like a second but please do it if you did enjoy this video as it really does uh, help my channel out and it actually just makes me feel pretty good inside so um, also if you guys want to stay up to date with my channel for the best destiny content then make sure to definitely subscribe as I will be posting a lot of new dark below content in the very near future thank you guys very very much for watching I really do appreciate it this has been your host, NobleWarrior99, and I'm out. Peace. Make that ass